Welcome back to another Black Sad motherfucker. Let's. Motherfuckers tripping. Greg Spano is back! Greg Spano is back! <laughs> Did you miss me? <laughs> Who wants to see a home run? <laughs> now you're gonna see. Bring it on! Let's go! Yeah, this motherfucker's gonna die. He died. <clears throat> oh, okay. Wait, the lizard died? Yes, he, yes, he did. Okay, good job for me, I guess. Don't torture yourself. You did everything <coughs> you did. Will he make it? <laughs> the doctors think so. They found him unconscious by the basement door. What? By the basement door? Could Gil have blocked the basement door from the outside to kill Mitchell? You think? That's a serious accusation. Are you sure, or is this just a theory of yours? It's just a theory. Let's hope we get the truth out of him. Huh. You think Gil was involved in the previous murders? What if it was Gil who killed his partner, Randall Lee, under Mitchell's orders? Another serious accusation. Are you sure? Oh, that one I'm positive. Yes. Everything points in that direction, including my gut. Wait. Couldn't Mitchell be Randall Lee's murderer? So he misses with two shots at point-blank range, and then he hits a guy smack in the forehead from across the street? No. Mitchell is not the sniper who wiped out Randall Lee. Yeah, I guess you're right. But we still don't know what caused Craig Spano's death. The pills. There's no doubt about it. It's 
Spano took drugs from the lab, and they killed him. But if that were true, how many more athletes are in danger? And most importantly, who are they? Is Bobby Yale involved? I didn't see them all, but write down these names. Peter Lowe, Xavier Chains, Helen Moore, Bill Goldman, Miles Benton, Alexander Wood, Jacob Ziegler, and yes, Bobby Yale. Thanks. Saving lives for a change, huh? In any case, this has got to stop. We're friends, damn it. You should have warned me about this. Yeah, I should have called. I should have let you know. I'm sorry. Hey, John. Surprise. It could have given a tip to a friend, don't you think? Or is that only the case when, uh, when I help you? <laughs> Get that guy out of here. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. All right. Let's get this over with. When the war ended, Mitchell convinced Groon to use his super soldier drugs on elite athletes. Somehow, Dunn found out about Mitchell's scheme. So when Mitchell heard that Dunn was on to him, he ordered Randall Lee to kill him and frame Yale for the murder. Then... He made Randall search Dunn's house and the gym for any incriminating evidence he might have had against him. The poor cleaning lady died almost by chance. When you stuck your nose in the case, he tried to scare you by sending his thugs to give you a beating. And when that didn't work, he asked Randall Lee to finish you off on the gym rooftop. But Randall not only failed, he got captured. So Mitchell ordered Gil to put a bullet through his head, which only made Gil upset. You kept getting closer and closer, to the point of discovering his headquarters. When Mitchell realized he was cornered, he burned his bridges by setting the lab on fire, along with Dr. Groon and his daughter. Gil saw the opportunity to get back at Mitchell, so he blocked the only exit so that he would also die in the fire. How did, <coughs> did I leave any loose ends? Just a few. But don't worry about it. I'll take care of them now. So I guess thanks for everything. I did, uh, Craig Sparrow. In your classic noir films and novels, solving a case never amounts to a happy ending. The detective is always left with a sense of bitterness. A feeling that, before he took the case, the world was a better place. That he was a better person. Come on, now speed it out. Sometimes I just let my character get the best of me. What do you want from me? I told Stone what I knew. That he was going to let Yale win. That if he didn't, O'Leary would destroy Helen Moore's career. And that Moore was doomed either way. Or would be as soon as America discovered her sweetheart was on drugs. I don't believe you. No way. Who sent you? Today? Nobody. And what if I did believe you? What would that change? If I don't do this for her, how could I ever look her in the eyes? How could we stay together? You think you'll stay together when you lose your title and they accuse her of doping? At least I know I tried. I know your record. Your rise to the top is clean, free of both O'Leary's and drugs. God, you might just be one of the only honest athletes I've met recently. Please don't let them change that. Is it all about being professional to you? Suit yourself. But trust me, your manager is a murderer. Get as far away from him as possible. Hey, Black Sad. I'll think about it.
Yale confirmed to me that Dunn found out that Mitchell was giving him meds. That was the reason they argued the evening of his death. Mm. In fact, I was clean at the time. Hadn't used for days. I didn't want to go down that road. I wanted to follow Joe. But he discovered everything. He didn't believe me when I said I had nothing to do with it. But you used again. Only after his death. I, I needed to cope. But the drugs gave you a panic attack. Yeah. But I've been clean ever since. Mitchell gave you the pills when he stopped by the hospital. Hence, your miraculous recovery. Are you planning on taking them before the fight? Don't do it, Don't do it Bobby. Someone has to save the gym. I owe it to Joe, and Sonia, and my Aunt Mary. The only thing you owe them is integrity. What would Dunn think of you now? <laughs> All right. Class I news. Stone and Yale hadn't taken away the bitterness I felt. I needed a friend. He was outraged that I hadn't given him the tip, but he let it go as soon as I bought him a milkshake. <laughs> After the perfect storm of corruption and murder. Only friendship could reconcile me with the world. Mm -mm. Only that could make me believe in mankind again. <coughs> Only that could cleanse my soul. Cleanse my Only soul. That. Only that. And money. And money. Is that an elevator? In your standard noir novel, Yale and Stone would be punished for breaking the rules. There would be justice for Sonia, the victim. But this was the real world. As the detective who had cracked the case, I just had to get my paycheck and be on my way. Nice to meet you, Mr. Blacksad. Mr. Thorpe is on his way. Care to take a seat while you wait? I guess I'll just have to wait. He'll be here in a minute. Please take a seat. No matter how many curveballs Destiny throws his way, he always manages to land on his feet. When he was a rising sports talent, the war put an end to his career, so he became a war hero. After the war, he didn't end up like Gil or like me. He became an elite athlete, a Hall of Fame football star. When an accident left him in a wheelchair, he went on to succeed in advertising. The last time I climbed a skyscraper, I had very different intentions. I wasn't there to claim my reward. I was there to punish someone.
for you, Panda. You guys should use Poe. Yeah. That's not possible. But what if Tim Thorpe was somehow involved in Mitchell's operation? Mr. Blacksad? Mr. Thorpe is running later than expected, but he insists on meeting you, if you don't mind. Sure. As long as you help me fight off this boredom. That's not in my job description, but... Out here. If my hunch is right, there should be a meeting with Mitchell noted somewhere in Thorpe's agenda. If I had her markings on my skin, would I be the same person? Would my name be different? Okay. How long have you worked for Tim Thorpe? Almost three years. And I hope it lasts. Has anything odd happened at the agency lately? Not on my shift. Perhaps the oddest thing I've seen is a bored detective asking a lot of questions. Did he tell you how long it will take him to get here? They just left Delano's, so about 30 minutes. It depends on the traffic. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Well, you see, I've got a problem. In order to figure out how much Mr. Thorpe owes me, I need to know what day I started working on the case, but I can't remember. You wouldn't have that written down, would you? It sure wasn't on my shift. I'd remember. Let me see. Okay. Miles. The other one. David Daniel Andrew Paul Okay. 
John Doe. No what? Dunn was here two days before he died? Why didn't Thorpe ever mention that? I'm sorry, but your name's not on here. Wait, I just remembered something. The day I came, Joe Dunn had just walked out the door. Well, no. You don't have any appointments. Although, I guess I could have forgotten to write you in. Mr. Dunn, who's usually very kind, left in a flurry. He even slammed Mr. Thorpe's door. Okay. Now I know I have to get into Thorpe's office. And he didn't even say goodbye. Yes, that was the day. You don't recall me because the minute I saw Dunn stomp out, I followed him. I never actually came in. Of course. That explains it. No doubt. Hmm, so... Since it looks like Mr. Thorpe won't be here soon, I think I'll go take a walk down the hall. Gotta stay in shape. Bitch, I'm doing my job. Don't look at me like that. You're fucking secretary, Come bitch. On, Thorpe. Tell me there's a back door to your office. Maybe I should play the Smirnov trump card this time. Smirnov didn't know what to think. He asked me to watch out and call him as soon as I had more information. He also told me that Gil had finally talked. He denied having blocked the basement door and said the truck door opened but he got knocked on the head as soon as he tried to get out. He then woke up when the police found him beside the basement door. Obviously, the same person who had jammed the door had carried him there. If Weekly were here, I'd have to tie his hands behind his back. Cats aren't afraid of heights. That's why I've never felt vertigo. God dang, boss, hot in here. It is. Strength, the accuracy of his throw. Yeah. I earned the nickname Iron Arm. I used to throw the ball in 15 miles an hour. And yeah, uh, went whatever it wanted. And my coach, the great Joffrey Sox. Mm -hmm. And so I worked hard. Pearl Harbor. I enlisted immediately. Uh, after losing a partner in combat, uh, a serious injury, I asked to be relocated. I became a sniper. I know I shouldn't say this, but I was one of the best in the army. And it was all thanks to my accuracy. No, it was all thanks to Jeffrey Sachs. I wonder how many <coughs> Americans that man saved with my arm. After these words, Tim Thorpe has moved almost to tears and asks me to take a break. It's shocking to see how an athlete and soldier, a man whose aim and skill won him a medal of honor and the nickname Surgeon among his brothers in arms. That can't be. I mean, it could be a coincidence, but no. Why am I surprised? 
In every investigation, there comes a point where every single lead seems to go down the drain. And you have to retrace your steps to get back on the right track. It's a bit strange to see no office chair behind a desk what? until you remember Please the desk's owner is in a wheelchair. You feel like a banana peel. I need to know. Also, you want to play some Rocket League? No, I right know. Bro. Are you watching something? No. Oh, crap. Then what are you doing? Playing. Of course. Playing what? Black Sad under the skin? Yeah. I thought you'd be I better it. not use it. No. It might be connected to the switchboard at the front desk. What if Groon's drugs helped Thorpe walk? That's it. Thorpe is the man behind right, the whole I need, drug operation. I need two saves. Of course, it wasn't Mitchell or Gil. It was Thorpe who shot Randall at the hospital. Everything adds up now. And yet I can already hear Smirnov telling me I have no conclusive evidence. What if I set a trap for Thorpe? But how? What if I place Thorpe's gun up I there? I said nice shot the and he said baking. So he has to stand up to get it. The show was about to begin. All I needed was an audience and some patience. <laughs> Don't you know who you're dealing with, matey? What a silly man. Mutiny! You wants to be shark bait, do you? Oh, Black Sad. I feel terrible for keeping you waiting. John. Uh, but you see, there was mutiny on board, so... Uh, Stop. Uh, you see what I have to put up with? All right, councilman, to the cabin with you. Onward. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Come along, Black Sad. Julie, don't let anyone <laughs> bother us. Honey, will you wait in the boardroom for me, please? But I'll just be a minute then. I think you've already suffered enough. <laughs> Okay. <sighs> and think about where you'd like to have dinner tonight, okay? You see, I'm not going to pay you for solving the case. Wow. I thought you were the kind of man who was true to his word. <laughs> no, it's not that. You'll get every penny we agreed on, and more. But not because you solved the case, but for her. Two days ago, she wanted to end it all. 
drop out of college, sell the gym. Too many wounds to heal. But through your incredible work, you managed to heal them. Well, perhaps not completely. It takes time to get over something like this. But at least, thanks to you, Sonia wants to be happy. She has hope. I'm going to help her make Dunn's gym the best in the city. Who would have ever guessed it, huh? I'm happy for her. She's been through a lot, and honestly, I wasn't sure she'd make it. Well, she hasn't just yet, but she will in time. Anyway, back to the case, all those people you confronted. Gil, the German doctor, even Mitchell. Huh. I would have never suspected him. Did they say anything? Why did they do it? Did they mention any accomplices? They did mention a certain surgeon. Surgeon? You have uh, any idea who that could be? A journalist told me. Ring a bell? I... I'm sure you've got good intentions, but you're wrong. What makes you think that? I, I'm sure there's an explanation. Don't deny it. I know Mitchell gave them to you. <laughs> People see a wheelchair and think, poor guy, he can't walk. But there's so much more to it than that. Some nights I can't even sleep from the pain. That doesn't explain why you didn't tell me you knew about those drugs. I know that you were a highly skilled sniper. And I think it was you who shot Randall Lee at the hospital. Have you seen me, Black Sad? How could I possibly do that? I hired you to solve this damn case. You think that's what a murderer would do? Only because you thought I'd blame Bobby Yale and drop the case. But as soon as I realized something wasn't right, you sent Randall Lee and Gil to give me a scare. And when all that failed, you ordered Lee to kill me. You're the type that won't open his jaws once he's got his prey, aren't you? Depends on the prey. Depends on the prey. Put yourself in my place for a minute. You're a promising football player just got back from the war, but you're still a nobody. The man you saved kindly opens his house to you. And that man is still undone by his wife's passing. He works all day at his gym, and he drinks himself to sleep at night. So you practically nice. end up raising his daughter. You give her her very first abacus. You encourage her to further her education. You comfort her when she misses her mother and her father. Meanwhile, your sporting career takes off. Life is good. Until one day, out of the blue, an accident cripples you. An old friend, Mitchell, tells you he knows someone who can help you. A German doctor. His drugs take some time to work, but uh, they do wonders. You manage to walk for short bursts at a time, little by little. 
and those bursts keep getting longer. But the drugs aren't cheap at all. So you have to find a way to pay for them, don't you see? So you started by selling drugs to athletes. Then you decided to start an advertising agency to hire those same athletes. Drugs would help them excel, and you'd get better ad deals. The perfect business model. Your first client, Craig Spano. His career had hit a rough patch, so. He was the guinea pig for your new operation, and yet, when the drug started having serious side effects, you got rid of him. Afraid he would talk, you tried to kill him. That's why he hid. From then on, your business was smooth sailing. You even began to think you were above the law. You thought that you were untouchable. Until Joe Dunn found out, and then, two days before his unfortunate death, he came to see you. That's enough now. You stop it. Now, I don't know if I'm above the law, but I am sure as hell not beneath it. Do you know how much power I have? The kind of people I eat with every day? I could shoot you right now, and nothing would happen to me. With that gun you keep in your drawer? I'm afraid not. I placed your pistol out of reach, just in case you happen to confirm my suspicions, Iron Arm. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have an appointment with the police. I won't let anyone wreck my life again. Sonia and I, we deserve a future. You can come in now, Smirnoff. Timothy Wilson Thorpe, drop your weapon. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, the state will provide one for you. Why did everyone go to the mall today? I want, I want some freaking Texas Roadhouse. I've been wanting Texas Roadhouse for so long. Sonia Dunn, you are under arrest for the death of Timothy Wilson Thorpe. Yeah. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, the state will provide one for you. Do you understand these rights as I have just read them to you? With these rights in mind, do you wish to speak to me? Watch your step. That's what I'm saying. Facts. Uh, I'd be going to have a talk with them. Here, did you buy it in the item shop? Oh, lit. 
I want titanium white, bro. It's so dope, though. Do you have the faking thing equipped? Oh, yeah. yeah, if you use it in the chat five times in five different match or one time in five different matches, then you can After unlock the Batman. Happen, um, the last thing I was interested in was the fight. The Did boost. You take drugs before the fight. God dang it! Stone let him win. I had done everything in my power for things to go the way my moral compass dictated. Well, why are these kids like listen to me? Scare me. That was another story. Because oh, no I almost saved that dude. Us, our actions don't always so close. determine our future. <laughs> My moral compass. Yeah. As if I even knew what that means. Did I wish I could freaking feel better? I didn't even know what to think of my performance throughout the case. I got dehydrated yesterday and I have a almost clear died. Conscience? <laughs> I pulled an Aries. Would I have made the same decisions, given the chance? Dude, I felt the worst I've ever felt in my life. Like, even worse than COVID. And then I did not sleep at all last night because I was literally just didn't feel good. Yeah, I didn't drink water for like two days. And then last night I got thirsty in the middle of the night and I kept waking up. So I was like, you know, what? I'm just going to drink some water. Then I threw up all the water I drank. Oh, couldn't get there. My bad. <laughs> 